Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video. This week, I have a week packed filled with events. Riley's with me. We're getting a hydrofacial today with the hydrofacial event. So I figured I would vlog my week for you guys. We're on our way to Beverly Hills right now. And later on today, we're going to a Teddy Fresh event, which I'm really excited. I'm a big fan of the H3 podcast. I love everyone there. So I'm excited to go. And I also really like Teddy Fresh too. I have a bunch of clothes from them. So we'll figure out our day today and let's go to Beverly Hills. every single day, I'd be the happiest person alive. I got my lollipop for being a big, brave girl. He's mad because I stole his cookie. <laughs> Event number one down. And now we're heading back to the valley. I'm gonna get ready for the Teddy Fresh event. I'm kind of thinking about how I want to do my makeup because I know they're like a really cool streetwear brand. So I kind of want to do something like maybe fun, maybe colorful, not really sure, but you guys will see. So let's head on back. I gotta take the dogs out. Yeah, walk time. They gotta go for their walkie talkie. Are you ready for your bath? No, look at his claws. He couldn't get lower to the ground. Help! We blocks, flappers in. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting ready now for the Teddy Fresh event, which is like so surreal to me that I'm invited. I'm I'm like I have like butterflies. Uh, I I don't even I'm not, what am I even gonna do? I'm gonna wear this purple top. It's it's actually a sports bra, but I think I want to do maybe like a monochromatic moment. I'm trying to think of what I want to do, but we'll start at least first with my brows. I started getting trigger finger. For those of you that don't know what it is, basically like my finger locks when I wake up in the morning. Actually, like to the point where it's starting to get a bit painful, and of course it's on my right hand. And my dad this morning was like, "Oh yeah, I had to have like a bunch." of surgeries on it when I was your age and I was like oh great love that love we love we live laugh love okay I'm also filming for TikTok and Instagram as well whenever I get ready I always try to like space it out that way I can create content on like every platform it's hard these days man I'm gonna use Mariale's palette I think I want to do a halo eye. It's been a really long time since I've done one. And I always have one eye that just blends out so much better. It's my left eye. It just always blends out way better. I like the brow better on this side. I like the eye on better on this side. My eyelid is better on this side. Ooh, girl, this halo eye. You know, halo eyes I'm definitely the most self-conscious about because they're not, in my opinion, my strong suit. But, bitch, I I love the way this came out. And also I haven't worn color in such a long time, so color in general is always a really fun time for me. something to make this lower lash pop a bit more so that it like clearly matches a bit more. Ooh, bitch. I'm looking good. <laughs> Here is the finished makeup look, y'all. I gotta go inside and change quickly and get ready to leave, but I love the way this came out. It's giving 2018 halo eye. <laughs> Here is the fit. Fit check. 
I'm wearing all Teddy Fresh. I love this outfit. By the way, these jeans are super, super comfortable. I'm very anti-jeans and I love these. All right, let's go. Day two, it is Wednesday, June 21st, and I am getting ready to go to therapy. <laughs> I'm excited because I definitely need therapy. I love it. I love my therapist. She's great. It's always really great to like be able to recap with her, especially when I have a lot of events going on because events kind of fuck with me a little bit. I get anxious. I'll get anxiety. I'll feel like I'm not good enough. So it's always really good to have therapy in the middle of a crazy work week because I feel like I get in my head a lot. Later today, we have the Sofia Vergara event and I'm I'm really excited because Ela is also going to be there. She's going to be the only other person I know there. So I'm very glad that she's going. And I finally met her for the first time in real life last night. She was freaking awesome. Everyone was awesome. Ethan is awesome. So yeah, I'm just getting ready for therapy. Got my Coke ready. I'm having a Coke in the morning. Leave me alone. Just finished therapy. Got out of the shower. We got to get ready. I'm going to be late to this event. Fashionably late, okay? Fashionably. I have 30 minutes until I need to leave this house and I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to do like the most simple makeup ever. But we're gonna go in first, do our brows. I always do the brows first, y'all, I always do. Or wait, no, we gotta moisturize first. What am I doing? We're going in with the Proteiny from Drunk Elephant. I love this moisturizer. It's super rich and supple. I really like it for the summer months. I got Mo in here with me. He's my good guy. I am such a precisely girl benefit. I love this brow pencil a lot. I use shade four. You guys, I've been applying lashes underneath my eyes recently. You know, I've been using the Kiss and Press Lash. So I am so not used to having lashes on the top part of my eyes right now. Kind of feels nuts. Ooh, these are nice. These are the Artist Couture Lashes. Lately, I've really been loving this Lancome foundation. I mentioned it yesterday, too. It photographs so beautifully, like, on the skin, in photos, videos, and it's got SPF, so, like, it kind of covers your ass in all ways. The only thing is you do have to work quick with it because it is a matte foundation. It does dry down, so do as I say, not as I do. My mom's famous expression... I mean, is your mom even momming if you haven't heard that expression before? I somehow always get like black eyeliner all over my face. Like it's, it's funny, you know, like people always say in the beauty world, glitter and black eyeliner are like things that just travel with you forever. I wonder if there's going to be like other celebrities there. Like I know she's close with Heidi Klum because of like the America's Got Talent. Like I also kind of am wondering if like Howie Mandel is going to be there. I grew up watching Deal or No Deal. So I kind of feel like I need to see him. I need to be like. Like, excuse me, deal or no deal? What's the deal? That hydrafacial yesterday literally is making my skin so glowy and it looks so good with the foundation. I've been struggling a lot. Like, honestly, I need to be exfoliating my skin a bit more, but it's it's become difficult with my perioral dermatitis because I can't use the chemical exfoliants in the way that I used to be able to. Um, I just, like, my skin is getting so sensitive, so my, my nose has just been... Ooh, bitch, why does that hurt so bad? Whoa! What the hell? There it is. Got it. It was a piece of the lash. Dude, whoa. Whirr. That was painful. I might be turning into a under the lash girly when it comes to falsies lately. My favorite combo, Kosas concealer, 
super creamy with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is the pink concealer. The concealer is a little bit yellow, the Kosas one, and then this one is pink from the Maybelline, and I love that because it neutralizes really well on my skin, and it brightens without the pink looking like there's blush under my eyes, you know? So it's a really, really great combo that I've been liking. All right, bring some bronzer up into this face with the Sculptino from Tower 28. Love this stuff. Tower 28 is one of those brands that never breaks me out and just has the most incredible products so whenever there's anything new that comes out I'm never scared to try it because I know my skin reacts so well to all of their products and they're like the only brand that's actually certified by the National Eczema Association so that is a big slay in my book because perioral dermatitis falls under the realm of sort of an eczema blush what blush should we do I guess rare beauty right I'm ready for a new Rare Beauty launch. I don't know what I want to see from them, but I'm ready for a new launch. I just love their products so much. You know what? I would actually really like to see some sort of full coverage foundation from them. I think that would really slay. Or even like more lipsticks added to their shade range. All right, let's go in and, oh my God. I wanted to leave by four, it's 3.58. So I think it's probably safe to say that I'll leave my house at 4.15, cause I still don't even know what I'm wearing. I wanted to film a video like, get ready with me to go to Sofia Vergara's house, but I did not have any time. I'm really excited to see her new makeup brand. I believe it's pronounced Toti, Toti? I'm very bad at enunciating T's. I pronounce my T's as D's sometimes, so like Toti, Toti? Toti, am I pronouncing that correct? Let's do just a little bit more setting since we're using a lot of cream products around the cheek area. But I do very light setting. We're a very light setter here. Some Fenty Beauty bronzer. You know what, I'm also ready for some more Fenty Beauty too. But like the thing is, is like I don't know what I want, want to see from them, you know? Like maybe some more eye products, like eyeshadow palettes. I don't know, what do you guys feel about eyeshadow palettes? Are you still fatigued from them? I don't know if beauty will ever be the same post pandemic, which is kind of crazy to say. Cause before the pandemic, that shit was popping off. I honestly was like, as a creator, I feel like I was even struggling to like keep up with how many launches they were. There were. Also, if you guys haven't tried the new House Labs blushes, this one is in the shade Dragon Fruit Days. Highly recommend. They're very, very pretty. Look at that. And they're clean, if that's something that tickles your pickle. Let's add some Rare Beauty mascara to the lower lashes. Just a little bit, you know, just to like define them ever so slightly. And then I'm kind of feeling like I might want to do a bold lip because my makeup is very plain. Even though to some people this might be like not plain, but for me this is very plain. So I'm gonna mix these two. This is Kylie Cosmetics Posy K and MAC Plum. I think this might be a good combo. And a good rule of thumb whenever you're doing a darker lip liner, you wanna make sure the liner's like about halfway on your lip. You can kinda see here. That way it just blends a bit more. All right, Posy K. This is a velvet formula, by the way, so it'll be a bit more comfortable. Whenever I go to events, even if like I'm wearing a liquid to matte lipstick, I always make sure to just bring the lipstick and the lip liner combo. So this is what we're looking like. I actually think it's pretty cute, pretty simple to the point. I'll have to do it up with an outfit. But also I just feel like makeup trends nowadays, it's it's gravitating towards more simple, simple glam. So I kind of feel like this is perfect. I would have really liked to do like a smoky eye, but another day, another slam. I didn't get a chance to show you guys the outfit I have on, but we're wearing white and blue. My purse is so cute too. Don't worry, I'm at a red light. Nobody yell at me. The purse is so cute. It matches literally perfectly. I'm on my way. I'll be there in about 15 minutes. Okay guys, so I'm about to get shade match, figuring out my color. So there's three shades per ring. Okay. It's w, C, and, or like one W, C, and N, same for two, same for three, same for Oh, love that. So 15 shades in all. Yeah. Same shades for the fluid and the compact. Oh, cool. I'm so excited. Is this a cream? 
love. Okay, so this is 3N. It's a little bit white. I know, this time I have my summer. This Actually, is like this, or you think it's good. Does it oxidize? It doesn't, I'll say it's flexible. Okay. Like, Thank you everybody for coming yeah. to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I just moved, so you know, I wanted to make something really special for, for you guys because Toti is something that is really a part of me. So I'm like, they're like, oh, let's do this, the party for the influencers to be here and there. I'm like, no, bring them to my house. I want to show them the product. I want you guys to, you know, fall in love with it the way I have fallen in love with it. You know, I love it. I think it has made me, you know, feel good and look good at 51. Hey guys, happy Friday. So Riley and I have some sponsorships we have to film today. We're actually doing one right now. And then we're having a pretty chill Friday. The event that I was supposed to go to today got canceled. So we're probably just gonna stay at home, cook some dinner, film this video. This is our little setup right now. We're ready to go. We're all ready to go. We just need the directors to get yeah, up Yeah guys, y'all need to uh, pull your weight around this house, huh? No. Okay, she licks her ass. And this is the awkward part, guys, because I have to wait for Riley to finish with his pants. Because I can't just expose the goodies to camera. I can. You can. It must be nice. Did you feed them? No. <gasps> you have to eat. Are you hungry? <gasps> Are you hungry? So we feed Moe Farmer's dog. We really need to iron out what we're having for dinner tonight. <laughs> this, I'm done. This is what it looks like. So he gets like a fourth a pack. And then I also have some pumpkin I like to mix in because he's my bad belly boy. You always got a belly ache, right? Is that right, honey man? You always got a belly ache. Yeah. Yeah. This girl, strong as an ox. She could literally eat anything. Who wants some pumpu? I usually give Mo about this. All right, bring me the buggy's bowl. Buggy gets some pump uh -huh. I like to splat it in there mm. for her. Mix it, mix it, mix it up. Put it on the sides, you know? Shake this up. Junie gets open farm. Loves it. She loves open farm. It has saved her itchy paws. I will tell you that much. She used to itch like crazy from the last food. Wait, let me give you some water. Just a little water because he's bad at drinking water. Sit, sit, ah, sit, stay, you sit, you stay, okay, good job. Chef Riley on the ones and twos. What are you making tonight, honey? You're doing an impromptu little veggie for this one. Stir fry? Stir fry action-ish, the stir fry light. You did good. She said we did good, but she hasn't tasted it yet, so. Okay, I'll taste it right now. I'm saying it looks really good. It's really hot. Mmm. That is so good. Well, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me this week. Yeah, you got stuck with me a little bit, too. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. We're getting back into the YouTube grind, so I hope you guys are ready. Thank y'all so much, and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I will see y'all next time. Bye!